working on our pond filter today, my homemade one. Uh, today I got these bio balls. They came in a, a bunch of, came with little sacks, and it came with a big bag full of the, the little bio balls. They look like they've got a little filter material inside the ball. And what we're going to be doing is putting these inside our pond filter. So, as you can see, there's the pond filter underneath that metal. Okay, first thing we got to do, I got my drill, because we're going to have to take the top off. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull metal. This is basically just, there's real no purpose to this metal um, tin but it's just basically for decor decorative so it looks better. Uh, inside, we'll be taking this top off, but the first thing we gotta do is we have to set the pump off, and that's the pump in the water. It's that pump in the water right there. We have to unplug it, which is right here. Okay, now we're going to try to keep it in the same location, so I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to move it too much. <laughs> the rock is basically just to um, stabilize it. I'm going to do, I've got chippies that are you're trying to crawl up my legs. You'll be able to see this. Pull all these screws. Want to make sure we don't lose the screws. We're going to want to put those back in. Now we're gonna pull this metal piece, this piece off. As you can see, down inside there, it's a pretty dirty. And this little piece of metal roofing, I use it because it does leak along there, so that way it runs back into the pond, so I'm not losing water. We're gonna set the cover here. We'll set the cover off to the side. Here with, the, with our screws and our drill. We won't need the drill for a while. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to pull all this insulation or this uh, filter material. As you can see where it, where it gathers the, the dirt. Okay. kind of bird it sound like okay if you see how this is how I set it up I built a box and it's got an opening down at the end and got the inlet right here what I'm going to do is these filter balls I'm going to place these bags Well, they won't. I'm gonna try something. If I can 
looking for. I don't know if they're going to go rolling right into the pond. There's a good chance that they're just going to go finding their way right into the pond. By doing that, when I start the water up again, um, yeah, that might not work. I think we'll have to use. We'll try it. Try it on that side. Try it on the one side with the loose balls. We'll see if it if it works. And we'll use the filter balls in the in the bag. Yeah, I think I'm gonna toss the ball into the into the pond. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, get some over that way. Okay, and all these filter these filter balls. We're gonna just stick them in the sides like this. this is going to do much having them up here we'll just set them there for right now because we still got to put the filter material back in we, we might put a couple of them like here try to put them right there maybe now let's go clean the we're gonna go clean our filter material in the lake first before we get to that point okay we'll go do that here's the stuff really dirty so uh, let's go next thing we got to do is uh, I want to reposition this filter material in the filter first before we do the filter underneath because that one will have to turn the other pump off for it now I do this one was down here. We're just going to make it kind of tight in there. And then what we can do is put bio balls in there. And let's see, where did we have this one? This one I think was also like this, but we're going we're gonna to put this one first. from the pump has got to kind of go through that and this one we're gonna we got one bag of bio balls left we're gonna do we're gonna open the bag up where's the bag? right at the edge oh. <laughs> Some spare bio balls, which would be nice. Oh. Yeah, we're losing a few. But if we can get the this filter material kind of stuffed under there too, just the edge of it, it might help. And what we'll do is we'll turn the we'll turn the filter on before I. Uh, close it up. Let's kind of see what our situation is. Well, what we're gonna, what I'll do is, I'm just gonna put this bio ball bag with a few in it, just under, right underneath there. Okay, let's let's turn it on and kind of see how we, how our flow is. Uh-oh. Well, well, I kind of thought that might happen. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to turn it back off. 
And we're gonna net those bio balls back out and we gotta cut some strips a little bit thinner. We got our little butterfly net here we can net those bio balls with. Not too many made it out, but and we got fish going after. Yeah, we only lost a couple of them here. Now I need to get a a knife so I can cut a little strips of the filter material. I'm just gonna cut it off the top because I'm gonna stuff it along the bottom there. It still has some of the the dirt inside there. Okay, now put these bio balls back in. Oh, yeah, back no more. Okay, there's a. What do I do? Is I can kind of lift. I'm gonna try to try to try to kind of lift. <laughs> this on the other camera. Do this material right there and then we can use this right down in there. I got it just a little bit more. Kind of open this up just a little bit more and kind of get it tight underneath there. Lock this back in place. Now we're going to turn it back on. I'm going to have to walk in front of the camera here for a second. Let's get it fired up again for a little bit. Some of the bio balls might not be being touched by water, but we will see the see got a better looking flow now on it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, well, we got to turn turn it off one more time here. Turn it off. Maybe we got to be able to move it to the side a little bit so we can grab to the other one. Now I need to come down here. Okay, now the second part of the filtration system for the pond, pond, which this usually causes some dirt in the in the pond once I pull this part of it. Now, this is gonna be a tricky part. I've never really tried to do this with it all hooked up. I haven't put the cover back. Let me, let me put the cover back on it real quick. We got some raspberry bushes that are growing up over here. Oh, my drill's starting to run out of batteries. Okay, now for the second part of cleaning the filter on this pond. I need to lift this box, which I'll be blocking the view for a little bit here, but 
one. I'm just gonna move it off to the side. And as you can see, this is the other filter. We got a couple pads, and then we got a big bag. Big bag of bio balls and another filter pad. Which down in there, that water is really dirty. Which unfortunately, that's probably gonna all go into the pond before I get done. And then that'll have to be cleared out as we process goes. Okay, we're back. As you can see, all the filters are cleaner. Not not incredibly clean, but better than they were and now i'm going to put one down inside kind of catch the initial dirt and then we'll put our bio ball in the bag and then all these are going to do different layers upside down and and everything and that will catch the remaining debris that makes it through and then as you can see there you kind of got the pads all put back in place and now we just put this back on top of there hopefully it goes back as nicely as it came off and what it does is it pins, pinches the, the filter material between there, okay, and get the, it's a piece of a aluminum, it's a, it's a piece of aluminum uh, roofing. And I use that, then it'll catch any water that leaks from the seam down there. Now we're going to run down. Yeah, I'll keep you up again so we go down here to the... Okay, we've got our, got our waterfall going again. Um, let's... Got a loon calling in the background. Okay, now let's get the other one fired up. See how that flows. Put this rock back on there, kind of gives it a little weight. So that should clean up really nicely. Water right now is getting fairly foggy because of the being off and running dirty water through without a filter for a couple seconds there, and that's dead desert. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run and grab the fish food real quick, so I'll be right back with you. You gotta watch some of the uh, waterfall for a couple things, or I visit the water, you get the food. See if we can get some of the bluegills jumping. If they can see it, because the water is going to burn you right now. There's one out there. And then what we do is throw some flakes into the water volume. Yep, and that then spreads up. And then our minnows, I've been, I've been noticing the bluegills are actually been going after that too. Okay, now, last step, 
is a bit more metal powder bag. And that really doesn't serve much purpose. It's like you just kind of like that to do. It makes it look rustic, kind of like an old, old fashioned, old school kind of thing. I don't know. It looks better than that wood box, so I, that's all I know. I might play around with some other stuff to see if it, what looks a little better and stuff. But as of right now, it's serving its purpose. Tom will be only open for a couple, no, maybe another month. I would probably try to take it out maybe the beginning of November or something like that. Um, maybe a month longer than last year. Try and get a bunch of nice footage. We'll kind of see the way the water changes as it gets colder. And so I just have to have the filter or the pump out of the lake before, before it starts freezing. And that just gets hard to pull it when it's frozen in the ground. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I remember to smash that like button. If you're not a subscriber yet, be sure to do that. Uh, check out the underwater videos. Uh, I do a lot of gaming videos. I do animal videos. Uh, as you can see, I got ducks. We got ducks. We get deer. Um, lots of games. Lots of fun. Um, you know, I'd love to talk to everybody. Drop your comments. I try to respond to everybody. Thank you so much, Kevin. Great to see you today. And I will talk to you in the comments.